Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. Uh, this one is going to be the newest mutant, Hulk Hogan Technomania. So Hulk is the newest mutant. He is a technician. Um, he's modern era. He has the mutants link, which is any color moves starting MP reduced by three for your opponent. And modern era gems do 5% more damage. He is also a coach. All the way at 20k, you will get 15% more health. So he's a health coach. Um, so that's going to be uh, pretty interesting, actually. Um, I have three build sets for you guys. Um, the A three star and then two five stars uh, that use all the moves uh, combined. So I'm going to run my favorite one first. A lot of times I run it last, but I'm going to run it first. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Uh, it's got the Mutated Axe Bomber, level 15. Deal 68k damage and choose 6 gems to make into yellow gems. That's a 7 MP green. 7 MP yellow move. Mutated Steel Pythons. Deal 68k damage and choose 6 gems to make into green gems. And then a 1 MP green, Mutated Atomic Drop. Deal 87k damage and move the pin bar left by 5 notches. Uh, for the Entourage, I'm going to run with Kofi. So the um, Mutated Steel Pythons uh, is started right away. I'll explain why I'm going with that instead of the greens in a minute. Or when we're in the game. Um, KO for green moves that deal damage will deal 45% more damage. Uh, Gooker, and I know I normally don't use rare coaches. Um, this doesn't affect the gameplay. It does speed up the damage a little bit, and I'll explain why I put it on him uh, when we're in the match as well. So you don't need Gooker for this build set. I just did it to increase the move damage um, and explain why I did it when I'm in the match, I will. And then Lacey for green gems do 20% more damage. Um, of course, any green move damage trainer would be the way to go if you have them. I believe uh, Honky Tonk Man is the green move damage trainer. Could be wrong about that. I don't have them regardless. Um, so you can see the move damage is really big. And if you play this right, um, you can wipe someone's health on turn one. So we're going to go against Drew. He is a five-star silver and strapped. We are not strapped. That's part of why I'm using Gooker. He basically makes up for the move damage on the strap. I do have plus two MP and plus one on a match. Um, although the one on a match doesn't matter. So if you were using... Um, a green move damage metal with uh, double move damage, um, so double takedown. Um, the mutated atomic drop would be doing 142,000 damage before KO or Gooker. Um, so that would be with no trainers. And the mutated axe bomber would be doing 110,000. Uh, so you get an extra 45%. These The bottom move, you'd probably be doing like 200k. Um, and the top move, approximately 140-ish, I think. 130, 140. Uh, and that's without Gooker. So the reason Gooker's on there is just to get a little bit closer to that. Um, and then the takedown, of course, would increase the Mutated Steel Python. Um, so you can just do tons of damage and as long as you don't cascade you can recycle endlessly and I'll show you how so you're out, you're going to use the one charge move every time it's up and we're going to move the pin bar left five notches so if you make a wild card match uh, and you don't cause a cascade the pin bar stays even uh, so you can stay in the middle of the pin bar so there's a little bit of room for error a few times And the reason why I went with uh, uh, Kofi is because in Feud there's going to be Cesaro now. So um, I thought I would just do Kofi. But you could just as easily start with um, Steel. Nope, we don't want to do that. We want to go six green gems. Let's see how this looks down here. One, two, one, two. Yeah. Let's try this side out.
So you can see we're right back where we started. And because I swiped into it, uh, the mutated atomic drop is ready. So you don't want to make a five match. You want to make one that you can swipe into. And then we're going to do the same with the yellow. And we can just do this um, infinitely as long as we don't move the pin bar too much. We're going to swipe into it. And you can see uh, with the added move damage, you just be shredding right through these guys. Um, and it doesn't really take too long um, once you had the added move damage on. But you're you're basically just going to go till your opponent's dead. You can loop endlessly, uh, which is which is really uh, pretty cool. So Drew had 1.8 million in change to start. As far as health, we are already halfway there, and the pin bar hasn't moved from from where we started. It's kind of crazy, huh? Ooh. So that was really unlucky. Uh, we got a 5 cascade, but you can see we're still doing fine. We can get a 3 cascade and still have room to spare. But that was about as uh, unlucky as you're going to get. And the key is just make sure you keep swiping into it uh, every time so you're refilling that one charge move. And that's just a bunch more damage and it moves the pin bar for us. Nope, yellow won't work on that side. Let's get rid of... Let's go this. Nope, don't want to do that. Let's do... Hmm. <laughs> don't like this one as much. There we go. Go. And Drew is getting close to being done. Uh, I would use cheap shot or head games. I mean, at this point, you'd have the board completely covered. Head games would be ideal. You'd have it completely covered in botch gems. Because um, you're doing so many moves. Uh, so 100%, that's what I would use. Okay, green. We're going to go here and here and get rid of these wild cards. And the, the match is over. So that's uh, 1.8 million damage. Turn one. And uh, who knows how long I could have went. It's pretty crazy. Uh, he would be an excellent Titan killer. So yeah, strap him up with move damage and just go to town. That's my favorite build. Uh, as you uh, probably can see why. So we'll get into the other two now. We'll do the three-star move next. Um, this one would look much, much better strapped. And my game is going to crash. This one would look much, much better strapped. Um, the finisher is a pretty big damage. So again, I would go take down with a green uh, move damage. Um, that would get that finisher way up there. Um, you could run gem damage and like dude love for black gem damage because you're choosing a bunch on the finisher. Uh, I did not go that route uh, simply because um, I'm against a strapped opponent and they're reducing the gem damage huge. So that's why I decided to go with KO instead of dude love. But you certainly could do that. Uh, potentially, you also could use a trainer like IRS and generate more wildcard gems. And if I was strapped, that's probably, honestly, the way I would run it to show you guys uh, his potential. Is I would run Bray and IRS 
and then any Hall of Fame that adds an extra gem, and then you could make so many wild cards um, out of those botches. Um, I keep Lacey for the gem damage, uh, but that way you'd make the whole board into, well, not a bunch of the botches into wild cards and get big damage, and you would run that with Double Fury um, is the way I would run that. So um, it's fine that we crashed. It lets me talk about that um, and the alternate way I would run that were I strapped. So Double Fury and uh, go to town with that. Um, but this is the way I'm running it for this. Uh, so you, because I don't have straps and the other way would look unimpressive without straps. Um, so we wouldn't really be able to get a feel for it, but it would be extremely good strapped up. And you can also run this this way, focusing on the move damage. And uh, it's pretty solid. The nice thing about this move set is um, the blacks are low charge. Um, so I, I would go the strapped route with Double Fury um, and see how many turn one wins you could get out of this. Um, potentially, you could also do um, um, double armor as well. Uh, let's talk about the moves, though. So the finisher, mutated running leg drop, deal 117k damage, 10 MP green, choose 10 gems to make into black gems and pin the opponent. Uh, mutated ground and pound, deal 76k damage and make 8 botch gems into wild card gems, 6 MP black and 4 MP black. Mutated scoop slam, deal 49k damage and choose a 6x6 area to make into botch gems. We're going to go with Bray to get those started on turn 1. The other thing too is if you um, you don't win on turn one, you can hit the finisher. Um, you can hit the finisher with an almost entire board of botch gems, making it very hard for them to kick out. Uh, so that's the other added benefit. And I'm gonna go with a uh, Hall of Fame Bree for one more extra um, one more extra gem on the on the botch wild card, and a little bit more black gem damage. Not much, but a little bit. And we'll keep Lacey in there. Okay, let's run this one. Keep in mind this build set would look uh, substantially better um, strapped up. Uh, for this one, uh, you could run the heavy machinery or any plate that makes green when you break X color. Because you're making wild cards, that would just help to make sure the finisher gets filled. Uh, or you could potentially run head games and get even more botches on the board. Uh, but 6x6 six six area is really big. Um, ideally, we want the wild cards to connect to greens. Um, so there's 2 and 2 on both sides, and 1 and 1 on the bottom. So this is the uh, amount of greens we could have in there. So hopefully we get some green connections. Uh, barring that, black connections would be fine to refill the this moveset and do it again. That's really cool, the fist punch there. I like that. And you can see it's 248k uh, unstrapped against a strap. That's really not bad. Uh, we could get a lot of damage there. There's a green wild card down here. Um, we have some pin bar to work with. Um, let's see what happens. Am I going to be too greedy? I'm too greedy. Not a bad five match though, 100k. Okay, we got the finisher loaded, and this will obviously refill the blacks. And let's see if I can... Yeah, I can do some things. We'll do that, and... Do, 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 do. We'll do that, like so. Wild card for the AI. Wild card again. Got some wild card or some botches on the bottom, so I will take the top.
hammer on Drew's head there. That animation's ridiculously cool. I like that one. Perfect. Nice damage. There's still some botches on the board. It might prevent... Yep, so there you see he can't kick out. So, uh, ideally, turn one, um, you hit that uh, wild card. It fills the finisher and um, the 4 MP botch gem move. So turn two, you lay out the botch gems and then you choose around the botches and hit your finisher. And then almost the entire board is botch gems and they can't kick out. Didn't work that way in the preview, but you can see the botch gems on there did make a difference um, that time around anyway. So it gives you guys an idea of how he plays. So I'm okay with that. Uh, let's look at the last move set. This one is a little bit uh, tricky and it requires some pretty good board manipulation to to do everything um, the way I want it to. So it's not always the easiest thing to make work, but it, it hits really hard when it works. Um, we're going to bring in the Mutated Axe Bomber and the Mutated Steel Pythons, both moves you guys have seen. And then we're going to bring in Mutating Up. That's the one we haven't seen yet. Um, it's a four-star move. That one is. Um, deal 61k damage. It's 4 MP. And choose 4 gems to make into 1 turn countdown gems that will increase your green gem damage by 34% for 2 turns. Uh, Entourage, we're going to run with Kofi to get those yellows started turn 1. There he is. I'm kind of blind. We're going to run with Rizar to choose more um, greens because our greens are going to be very strong. And uh, we're going to run with uh, Texina for more countdown gems. Now, if my Jimmy was 9k, I'd also have more countdown gems. Uh, but he's not. But I still think I would probably use Rizar with the big choose, and I will show you why once we get in there. This has the potential for some pretty big boom. You can get it on turn one if you do not cascade at all. And I will, because we only need a three match to fill yellow. Mutating up here. Let's get our countdown gems down. We're going to put them in that area. So we only need a three match. But... Uh, I want to put a bunch of green gems on the board. Not cause a pin. Okay, now we can do a five match with yellow and we want to swipe into it. Uh, just like we were in the other build, and that'll get the countdown gems to go off. Now, if we don't cascade when we swipe into this, which I don't think we should unless we get really unlucky with what falls, um, we should have the choose move loaded again. Uh, but we cascaded. So the choose would have been loaded, and the kickout would have been buffed, and then we could choose into all of those green gems on turn one. I did cascade, uh, but it's not the end of the world, because we'll just do it now on turn two instead. And just in case we don't keep them down, we'll throw these countdown gems out. But you can see there's a ton of greens on the board, and they're each worth a lot. And keep in mind, this is unstrapped, and gem damage always looks bad unstrapped, but this won't. Uh, we're at 20, almost 27,000 a green gem. Strapped, that would be close to 60k damage per green gem. And you can see we have a ton on the board. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And a wild card makes it 14. 
Uh, plus we're choosing 10, so that's 24 gems at 60,000 uh, damage strapped. You guys can do that math. I don't know for sure what it is off the top of my head, other than it is a lot. And that's not counting any potential um, cascades. So we're going to connect those green dots. And hit for uh, what would have been over a million damage. And you can do that on turn two without a cascade. Um, I did cascade and... Or a turn one without a cascade. I did cascade, so it was turn two. So those are the builds I like for Hogan. Uh, with double armor, very unlikely anyone's going to kick out of that. So I would go double armor. Um, actually, that's crazy talk. I don't know why I said double armor. I would go double fury because we're buffing the green gem damage. So ignore the double armor. That would be double fury like I was talking about the whole preview. Um, go double fury on that, guys. Um, and then I would go head games or cheap shot. Uh, the problem with two words is you would lose your board control. So I don't think I would use two words. Uh, but double fury and um, stack that green gem damage. So that is Hogan, Tech Hogan. A lot of fun to play. Uh, really fun card. Interesting coach ability with the hit points, uh, especially as the game evolves and we get more hit points. That could end up being a lot. Um, and a lot of fun to play. I really enjoyed him. First moveset is my favorite with the uh, infinite recycling. It's not very often you do at least 1.8 million damage on turn one. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this preview. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. Other than that, guys, uh, thanks for watching and good luck out there.